Hello everybody and welcome back to Connor here with your Huddersfield Town versus Leeds United preview. Now I've got the mic all set up so I'm hoping that it is going to be, uh, it's not going to come through one of your earphones because I know a few of you cottoned on to that. Basically guys, just a little bit of an explanation with everything that's going on really. We're trying to up the production here and I have access to a lot of things uh, with my course so I'm trying to up the production, camera, microphone, lighting so um, that's what we're trying to do at this moment in time so sometimes it is a little bit of trial and error as well we're sort of learning on the job as I am with my course and doing this so uh, you just got to bear with but anyway enough of the waffle let's get into Huddersfield Town versus Leeds United and um, yeah it's, it's do you know what I think it's going to be a tough game the Crowley brothers are going to be well up for this their first real taste of a Leeds United game um, Huddersfield versus Leeds United and you know they're going to get they're going to get a, an exceptional Marcel, Marcelo Bielsa um, coming to to the John Smiths really, and, and, and I don't really know what to make of this one. I mean, I mean, form obviously sort of goes out the window, does it, when it's sort of a Yorkshire derby? But I'm not 100 sure it will do with this one. I think if we stick to our patterns of play, I think we could win this game quite comfortably. But it depends. We've seen previously. So last season, sometimes Leeds do play the occasion, which can sometimes be a massive problem. Pressure can set in, and, and you know the 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 sort of logistics of normally what you play to under your manager goes straight out the window so we need to play the normal system of what we've been doing um, consistently and we need to be doing what we do best stick to the basics pass the ball around tie Huddersfield out, Huddersfield out and uh, I think the fatigue will start to show but listen I think it's huge Calvin Phillips been out of this side I, I've, I can't remember really a Calvin Phillips been out of this side to be quite frank from from a start or anyway there's no real time in his two year tenure at Leeds United Marcelo Bielsa where Phillips has had sort of a, a stay out of the squad, you know, so especially really for tactical reasons, he's normally the mainstay in front of the back four, so yeah, I, I don't really know, I don't really know, obviously Ben White comes into there, but at the weekend, obviously, I know it was, it was his introduction, but he did look a little bit confused in that position, you know, he's sort of, you know, moving from a, a position where you can see everything in front of you to a position where you've got people behind you, you know, just not just including Kiko Casilla, it's definitely, it's a, it's a big change for Ben White, so we saw that at the weekend, I presume that is how Leeds United will line up, I presume Ben White is going to be at the back, uh, sorry, uh, just in, sitting in front of the defence, Gitano Baradi is going to come into either a back four or a back three, um, and that's how Leeds are going to go with it, and, and yeah, I don't really know, I think with how good the set of attacking midfielders are that Calvin Phillips has come up against um, this season, you know, recently especially, you know, for the teams that you may not say with all respect have got the... Um, the firepower that the top teams have in this division are you like to blue and Izzy Brown and uh, Redding Ovi Ajari have been very good and given Phillips good games so is Ben White going to be able to fill that void you know we've all seen him progress into that midfield role um, before you know getting the ball and, and advancing so, so you sort of think he will but who, who knows I mean is he going to be able to do that from the start I, I have no idea we've never seen Ben White in that role is he going to be as competent is he going to be as comfortable so we'll have to wait and see um, yeah, and, and I think that is my, my, my main worry for this game. I think obviously if we play our stuff, uh, we will we, we can quite easily beat the Huddersfield side. They're going to be up for it, of course they are. We've won our last five league games, so you know Leeds United should be going into that with uh, full of confidence. But is that little pivotal pivotal role, you know, Calvin Phillips, is that going to affect this Leeds United side? I'm not 100 percent sure, and we'll have to wait and see. Um, so the head-to-heads, guys, I was quite stunned by this, actually. The last three times we've played Huddersfield, we've lost. Um, you know, obviously the, the infamous 2-1 loss uh, to uh, you know, David Wagner's side under Gary Monk. Um, and then we lost 1-0 at home that season as well. I remember Aaron, Mo Aaron Moyes scoring an absolute rocket. And then apparently before, I do not remember this, it must be in the dark era. It might be under the, uh, the I'd probably say, Christiansen era, potentially. No, that would have been before the Christian uh, Christensen era. Yeah, ignore me, that's not correct. Um, but yeah, we lost 4-1 as well at home to Huddersfield. So, you know, the, the record, the head-to-heads would suggest, you know, that Huddersfield are going, going to go into this with uh, the form guide, the run of form, really. But um, obviously, that's all out the window. Now, we have Marcel Abiel, so they've gone through numerous managers since and have stuck with the Crowley brothers. So, 
it's all open really, we don't know. Where where would their major threats be? In my personal opinion, it would be up front, Carl and Grant, you know, 11 goals already this season. You know, you compare that to our leading striker who's managed seven and he is in form at this moment in time, Patrick Bamford. So it just shows you, you know, the level that Carl and Grant has got to um, in a Huddersfield side that hasn't got firing at all so far. But you have to go back uh, a few months now to Sheffield Wednesday to when to when Huddersfield last lost at home. You know, they've got a really good record at home. They've been unbeaten there for a long period of time. So that's something Leeds United are going to have to take into account. You know, we've changed our home form around, but so have Huddersfield, especially under the Crowley brothers. They're yet to taste defeat at home. <clears throat> Sorry, at home. So, you know, it is one of those where it, it, I don't really know what to expect, to be honest, but guys, because I do think they've got a lot of quality in their ranks that, you know, they're, they're not long down from the Premier League. Leeds United, obviously, we, we've, had a, we've had a lack of funding in comparison to Huddersfield, um, you know, with the parachute payments and stuff. So, it is one of those where I'm, I'm really not, I don't really know what I'm hoping to expect, to be honest. Um, well, I, I don't know what I'm going to expect is, is what I should have said. Um, what I'm hoping to expect is a Leeds United win and a comfortable Leeds United win. Um, but, but, you know, we'll have to wait and see on the day. You know, if you look at the stats as well, um, the expected goals, which is what we're looking at, is 2.67 uh, to Huddersfield's 2.4, which is actually relatively high for a team that you know has been through a sticky patch, which is it's a good sign for Huddersfield. Leeds um, edging them out on that point. And the average goals scored um, per game, Huddersfield have got bang on one, and Leeds have got 1.94. So once again, we exceed that. Um, and the average team goals conceded Huddersfield on 1.4, um, you know, uh, per game, whereas Leeds United to sort of 0.73. So it was well in excess there. Uh, Leeds United scoring in 84% of the matches, whereas Huddersfield also matched that with 84%. So you know, they've, they've scored some goals. You know, they have scored some goals, and that is that is uh, that's 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 really you know you've got to attribute that to the, the wonderful Carl and Grant at this moment in time who, who to be honest you know I could focus on a few players in that Huddersfield Huddersfield ranks but I think he's going to be the one at the weekend you know especially with Ben White moving into the defensive midfield role is you know Berardi and Cooper are they going to be able to cope with a very quick very competent very able Carl and Grant you know if you look at most strikes in the division who would I have you know a sort of maybe you know, let's say if Nketiah wasn't within our ranks, it definitely would be Carlin Grant, 100%. I think he's a quality player in and out of the channels, very, very quick. And uh, he links up well. I like his work ethic. I think he'd actually seamlessly fit into this Bielsa side. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think it is, it is one of those where I think... I mean, you look at it really, and, and Huddersfield, you know, the, the, with the played 10, they've won two, they've drawn four, and they've lost four, but you've got to flip that really at this moment in time because at the start of the season, they were very, very poor, but since then, they've sort of churned it round a little bit, which which uh, leaves them unbeaten at home. So, uh, away from home, it's saying Leeds United, have, we've played 10, you know, we've played 10, we've won six, we've drawn two and lost two. Um, we've scored 15 goals and, and we've conceded six, uh, which is, which I mean, that's exceptional, really. So we don't really know. And obviously, guys, this being a Wednesday preview, it's not, really, it's not going to be um, as in detail as maybe the lads are tomorrow. So make sure you check that out. Um, this is just a little bit of a brief overview of what I'm going to be thinking towards going into the game and my thoughts. You know, I think Leeds going to remain unchanged apart from that Ben White change. Um, and yeah, I'd, I'd say the key, the key man to look out for is going to be Carl and Grant. Now, listen, Oscar's going to be in my humble abode on uh, Saturday. Unfortunately, we couldn't get tickets to the game. We've managed to get tickets for the next sort of two or three games, but unfortunately, away at Huddersfield, it was like gold dust. So we we're going to get involved in the LUFC Trust Walk as well, but unfortunately we couldn't do that because we didn't have the end goal of having tickets so we've gone for the next best, best thing and we're going to provide you guys with a live stream and um, we're going to provide you guys with a live stream on the Saturday we've also with us drawing Arsenal um, uh, we've also had contact with a certain fan channel which I'm sure you are all aware of um, and hopefully there'll be some exciting things to come from that when you know the, the draw well the date and the uh, you know the if it's going to be on Sky or not uh, are going to be announced for the Leeds United Arsenal game so yeah keep your eyes peeled for the weekend anyway let me know what you think in the comment section below do you think it's going to be a tough game what do you think to Huddersfield this season do you think it's going to be their biggest game of the season are they going to sell out are they going to make it that sort of atmosphere that they did in that season where they went up, where, you know, playing Leeds was the big game and all this sort of stuff? Will Leeds, you know, sort of rise to that? Are we going to be able to, 
um, sort of sustain our quality with uh, Ben White in the in the middle. Are we going to lack a little bit at the back? Let me know what you guys think. Let's put your score predictions in the section below. I'm going to go with a Huddersfield 1, Leeds United 2 victory. I'll see you in a bit, guys.